Well, some of you asked for it, so here it is. An update for Sun Avalon. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to Amber Dan's YouTube page again, and this is Andrew the Collector here with, like I said, an update for Sun Avalon. Um, I said in my previous video that um, the deck wasn't very competitively viable, um, but we'll see how the new, how it does with the new support. And to be quite honest, it actually does not the, uh, put the deck up a few notches. Um, I'll explain in a combo video at the uh, combo tutorial at the end of the video, but for right now, let's just get right into the deck profile. So we're going to start off with uh, three of the Sunsea Genius Locusts. I mean, your deck revolves around it, so you got to run three. Then three Sunsea Shadow, three Sunsea Twins, and two Maiden. I went over this. Um, it's it's basically the same ratio as the last video um, for actually for pretty much most of the deck. So if you want an in-depth uh, tutorial on how these cards really work, be sure to check out the other video uh, video first. You're gonna make me and since it is a plant deck, three Lone Fire Blossom, no less than three. It's your heart and soul of the deck. You get to your combos a lot, e a lot easier. And then three Rescue Rabbits. Since it, we are running um, a deck that is centers around a normal monster, you do have to run. And then three Effect Bailer because the Effect Bailer not wants to turn negation. Now off to the spells. Three Shrine, it's a, it's a searchable monster reborn, kind of, at the cost of a discard. Unexpected Die, because it is a normal monster base, uh, base deck. Three Where Art Thou, to search out your Sunseed Shadows. Two Super, uh, super Solar Nutrient, uh, the special sun plant monsters from your deck. And the one ofs are going to be one monster reborn, one monster reborn 2.0. One for one and be gone, Demon Child. And for the traps, we have uh, two Sun Avalon Bloom. A lot of people only run one because it is searchable, but if um, this but if, uh, this card gets destroyed while it's face down, um, it's always good to have a backup plan. And then, due, due to the um, monsters' effects of being able to attack you, attack you directly. Uh, two Dimension Wall and one Drowning Your Force. Like I said, it's, from, it's the same thing from the uh, previous video. Where the deck really changes is in the extra deck. Three Sun, sun Avalon Drice. Um, when this card is a special summon, um, using the Loki as a material, you can search out the Shrine. And its effect is that if you take battle damage or effect damage of any kind, you gain that amount back and you can special summon a Sun Avalon monster from your um, extra deck to part of uh, mon a monster's uh, points too. And the search effect is not once per turn. So if you special summon this this one, uh, one and it gets Ash or negated, if you summon out another one, you get the search again. Then two of the Sun Avalon Drydeus. Um, I cut it down to uh, cut it down to two, and I made room for the uh, one of the new one. Um, you don't really need to worry about this one's effects. I only have it in here for his arrow placements because those actually do come up a few times. But where the um, extra deck really helps out is three of the Sun Avalon Melo Melois. Um, this card is uh, yeah uh, two. This card is actually really is actually really broken. Because upon um, sp on Khan's uh, Link Summon, um, if you control Loki, uh, uh, Genius Loki in your graveyard, you can sp um, you can special summon it back. And that's not and like I said, that's not once per turn. So if you special summon it out, special summon lo uh, Loki, synchro off in for another one, special summon out Loki, and then leak off into your Link Force and just go off from there. It may not seem like too much, but in a deck that um, focuses on link climbing, it actually is essential. So I'm, I'm actually strongly considering on bumping this up to three in replace of this one, because, I mean, these basically also do what I only have, have him in the deck here for, but on the, on the flip side of the coin, I'm actually thinking of putting in a second one of him for another target for my uh, Sun Seed Shadows effect. So let me know in the comments what you think would be the best option. And then two of the Sun of the Sun Av Avalon um, Mama Tree. 
I, yeah, I call it Mama Tree. You'll see why in a minute. Um, but I didn't want to bump, uh, bump this down to one uh, because it's just too good. Uh, can't be destroyed by card effects. And it has the same effect as all the other ones, prevents it from being attacked, and allows your opponent to attack you directly. And upon its summon, it is a, um, you can search out um, any of your Sun Avalon spells or traps, mainly your, mainly your blue. And then another, um, another new addition is the Papa Tree. So yeah, we got our Papa Tree and we got our Mama Tree. So you get, you get both of these out with a bloom face down and you're pretty good to go. His effect is a once per turn quick effect. Is you can tar is um, you can target a monster your opponent controls, um, take damage equal to its attack, and then bounce it back to their hand. And if it's in the graveyard, um, it, you can banish plant link monsters whose total link uh, link rating is four to special summon and back. That's why I only have one because he is recoverable from the graveyard. He's only um, out of commission if he's banished. Which can happen, so be on the lookout for that, but it doesn't happen too often. And then three of your wing condition is three Sun Avalon, uh, Sunfine Thrasher. When this guy is a uh, special summon, not just Link Summon, but Special Summon. You can target a um, plant Link Monster that you control, and this card gains 800 attack for ev for every Link rating it has. So if you target either your Papa or your Mama Tree, it, it goes up to 4,000. And if it, um, it destroys a monster by battle, it has a Goyo Guardian effect, which is not once per turn. None of its effects are once per turn, which is insane. So yeah, win condition, run three, no less. And one uh, Aromage, uh, Aromage uh, Jasmine, um, her effect does uh, come up a lot easier than it does in the in the last build because of, because of the way the combo works, which we'll get into in just a second. All right, so um, that is it for the deck profile. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys would change about the deck. I'm actually thinking about putting in a pot of avarice because one thing about this deck that um, actually really hurts is that with this combo you go through your resources pretty quick so if you set up your board and your opponent is able to break it you really don't have much recovery so i'm actually so if, i'm actually thinking about putting in pot of avarice to you know recycle your stuff and get the extra key draw so let me know what you guys think about that but for now let's just get right into the combo all right so we basically have a three card combo um here so um what you are going to start out with is going to be your unexpected die to special summon out your Loki. Then you're going to activate Wert Arf Thou. To, some, to get, you, get your seed. Use his effect because you can special summon from your hand if you control a plant normal monster. Then you're going to link into... <laughs> Your Dryas. Dryas effect will activate. To search out your shrine. Then you're going to normal summon out your Lone Fire Blossom. You're going to tribute out your Lone Fire Blossom. Do special summon out your Sun Seed Twin. Use Twin's effect. Special summon out your seed. Then you're gonna link off. To your Jasmine. Jasmine's effect, you're gonna tribute off. To get out your maiden. But it doesn't really matter which one you get as long as you get a monster. Then you're gonna link off. <laughs> Into your Trideus. Use a Shadows effect since you have a link to that is uh, co that is a uh, uh, linked to special summon. Add another copy. Then you're going to link these two off. I right, keep going for my main deck for Melos. Melos effect. Special summon out your seed. Link off. To another Melos. Melos effect, since it's not once per turn. Special summon out your seed again. Link these two. 
to your big daddy tree. Link these two into your mama tree. Your mama tree's effect. To search out your bloom. And now you got these two cards in your hand, plus two extras. And plus two extras. So you're gonna activate his effect to banish out two Link monsters with a total uh, Link, link Rain of four. Uh, special summon him out all the way on the other side, so that way all three of these zones are free. Then you're gonna activate your shrine, pitching one of your cards, so say it pitches this one. Then you're gonna use his effect to special summon. Then you're gonna link off into your Trias. Then you're going to set your bloom or set anything else that you have in your hand. And then at, at the end, end phase, you take 2,000 points of damage from where art thou, and Dryas' effect will go off. You get regain those 2,000 life points, and you special summon out your Thrasher. Thrasher's effect goes off, you're targeting your big mama tree, and he becomes a 4k beater. So you have um, a bounce, and you have a negate, and you have uh, two beaters, plus a, uh, another beater, one uh, with bloom uh, next turn. So that's a pretty standard combo that you can do with this with this deck, and you can pretty much pull off the, uh, that combo as long as you have, um, at, at the very least, a Loki or a Shadow or a way to get to any of these two cards. So, yeah, that's a that's a standard combo for this deck. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Andrew, um, wait, you're missing a card on the field. What am I missing? In the famous words of the, of the great Iron Giant, Rock Tree. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've neglected to say that the, that the rock is the, is the biggest weakness for this deck, so be cautious of that. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, uh, like, uh, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Check out the, our brand new sponsor, Palmunga Mats, for the, um, who does, did, did this beautiful work for my baby. Um, stay tuned for a Rose Dragon deck coming uh, hopefully in the future. I'm in the works of making one. It's not going to be for a little bit because I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff and I'm just you know working on, on acquiring them. So please be patient for that, but it is coming, don't you worry. But in the meantime, their link is down below. Um, use the code FORBIN10 to get 10% off. And we'll hope to see you guys next time.